like and comment now if you haven't watched my broad beans video what to do or what do you know about broad beans you can check it out in the icards now today we'll be making broad beans and mushroom or mushrooms and broad beans whichever way you like to say it uh, first thing you have to do of course is to boil to wash and boil or pressure your broad beans after doing so you do the same with your vegetables and your seasoning so you wash all of them so of course I washed my sweet pepper tomato and you know I don't use or I like one ola onion or tomato or sweet pepper and that's because my family is very small I'm not, and I'm not making a large batch okay rosemary is another great seasoning mushrooms mm. I love mushroom, whether it be white mushroom, portobello mushroom, it's all good. Love it. Fun fact, do you know that mushrooms is high in cholesterol? At least some of them are. Maybe I should do something on mushrooms. Okay, so. This is my steak. And why I said my steak? Because it's this steak. I made this maybe about mm, a week ago. And uh, yeah, it tastes very good. Everybody in the family like it. When I do barbecue steak, I normally make it. Or uh, you can put it in any dish, basically, any meat dish, basically. I'll use it as a meat substitute. Now you got your broad beans, you got your mushrooms, everything is washed and prepared. So now, let the cooking begin. So of course, first thing you need to do is to wash and clean up all your vegetables and the seasoning. After doing that, you start the cutting process.
fish, cut up all your vegetables, you saute the mushrooms first and add your seasoning, your Indian curry powder, your garlic salt, you can add all your seasoning if you like. Starting the mushrooms, I just add my curry and let me stir. After sauteing a bit, you add all the other vegetables, onions, carrots, and stuff that you have to the mixture, and you continue to saute. And what I love to do after sauteing it for a bit, I cover it and allow it to simmer. So while it is simmering, I would go ahead and cut up my chickpea steak. Or my steak. <laughs> and that's the Indian Indian curry leaf and of course they are pre-washed so I don't have to wash them but knowing me I love to wash everything so yes so I allow my vegetables and seasoning to to simmer for a bit now like I said before that's my steak I use and you can see the chickpeas in it yeah, yeah so I blend my chickpeas and sometimes I just crush it if I want it to have a more rough texture but like I said if you want to see the video comment below and I'll do that okay I'll make it for you all so after allowing the vegetables to simmer for a while i add the steak to the ingredients and you stir a bit just to get some of the seasoning uh, the turmeric and so so you add a bit more salt and ginger can't do it on my ginger powder <laughs> Add a bit of ginger powder and that's about a teaspoon or a little bit less than a teaspoon and you'll note that most time in my videos I don't use a measuring cup and that's because I've been doing this for so long I yeah I think cooking goes you know sometimes you use the measurement and it still don't come out right so you just go by taste and that's the coconut milk I made. I always make my coconut milk. You can also check out my coconut milk video as well. So after adding the coconut milk, you stir a bit, you know, so that the meat that you just had will get in some of the flavors. And sometimes it's good to, when I do that meat, I soak it overnight in coconut milk and a lot of seasoning so that it is well seasoned now after cooking for about 10 minutes or less you go ahead and you add you add some of the peas water i don't know i was about to say brine but it can't be brine brine is salt water so i'm adding one cup of the brine oh I said brine one cup of the peas water after which and I only had one cup because water will be in the peas just the same the cooked peas beans sorry and so you are going to add more seasoning to taste so at this point in time I add my Mrs. Dash 
onion and garlic or some and herb onion and herb and cilantro I love fresh cilantro but when I went to the supermarket there wasn't any so this is what I have to use there haven't been any cilantro for quite some time to at the supermarket I don't know what's happening okay so after adding your additional season you're going to cover the pot of course you're going to mix it in a bit then you cover the pot and allow it to simmer for about or to cook for about 10 minutes again and like I said this this doesn't take long roughly cooking time can be 20 minutes yeah can be less though because most of the ingredients are already cooked okay and here we go beautiful isn't it mm, tastes so good tastes so good now remember to comment below if you would like to see my chickpea steak and please try this if you try it just leave a comment let me know that you tried it and tell me how great it was 